So, <laughs> I'm outside right now in Japan, and it's super duper hot and humid and gross, but I was thinking to myself, ah, I should probably get some exercise today. So, this is outside! Woo! Yay! So, anyways, uh, a few days ago, my host family wanted to learn how to make chalk chip cookies, and because uh, Dustin and I are connoisseurs of the art, I decided to teach them. So we went to the supermarket and bought the ingredients and the chocolate chips here are like a third of the size that they are in America and they're only sold in 60 gram containers, which is like that much. Uh, so we got five of them and we ended up just getting like the chunk chocolate thing, like a bar like a 60 gram bar of chocolate that we just cut up because chocolate chips were just way too small. So we did that and then we got back home and Uzi pulled out two bowls and she was like, okay, good, let's start. And I was like, oh, but those bowls are so small. And she was like, yeah. And I was like, okay, do you have any bigger bowls? Because they were like actually just the size of my head. So she said, no, we don't have any bigger bowls. So, okay, well, can we use, like, pots and pans? Because I knew that she did have bigger pots and pans for cooking pasta and corn. So, we ended up using uh, the two little bowls to split up the wet ingredients half and half so that Yura and Rinka could both stir, because stirring is so much fun. And then we mixed it with the dry ingredients in this really big pot because they just didn't have anything else, and it was great. And it was really fun, and Yura ended up, like, crying within the first two minutes of making it because she dropped an egg on the ground and just couldn't handle it. Yeah. It was nice, though. Not the crying, the cooking, because I got to teach them the art, and when they came out of the oven, they were super-duper flat because it's hot here, so they kind of melted in the bowl, which was fine they still taste about the same, not as brown sugar-y because the brown sugar here is like diluted. Uh, it's not very molasses-y, which is fine, but yeah, they're good. And the mom was kind of freaking out about how much sugar and butter and flour we were putting in because she was like, oh, these are going to have so many calories. And I was like, yes, that is America. Woo! But they like them, and they've just kind of left a bowl out on the counter, and half of the dough still needs to be baked because the oven is also really small, so we can only do nine cookies at a time. So, you know, it's good. And when she asked me what temperature to set the oven at, I was like, oh, 350. She was like, what? 350? How does that? No. And I was like, oh, yeah, Celsius and Fahrenheit. Okay, 172, <laughs> 172 degrees, and she was like, oh, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, conversion's fun. I had to convert every single measurement, except for eggs, into, uh, from cups to grams, which was nice. Got to look up the weight of all the ingredients and how much a cup weighs and how much a teaspoon, how many milliliters are in a teaspoon and how much a teaspoon of salt weighs. So now I know that. You know, I'm learning so much in Japan. So educational. And so much fun. And I leave tomorrow. So that's nice.